Hello everybody, it's Brendan or Hot Pockets, you already know that deal, and today I got, well not really, like not really like today commentary because this is going to be my second commentary of the day, but what we have at this moment, this gameplay, you know, fuck it, today we have us a nice 30 and 6 knifing only free for all, trying to get Commando Pro, I get about halfway through, but I stick to my roots, I keep on knifing. Because I need Commando Pro to do my fakey YY doubles ladder shot no scope cross map hit markers when I'm playing with my sniper diapers. So basically, as you guys know, I second prestiged in this game called Modern Warfare 2. And I've just been fucking around, having a little fun ranking up. You know, I'd, I've i been really thinking about how I've been banned and reset. And I kind of want to do like a road to commander now, maybe, I don't know. But I'm definitely, 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 definitely going to get my ass back up. Get my ass to 10th prestige as quick as I fucking can. I already have an idea. I've been looking at the challenges on CodeElite.com. Sorry if you just heard that. That was my vibration from my cellular device. Getting a textical. Oh, I, was, I just said testicle. Textical. Textical message from my lady friend. <laughs> but I don't want to be any gayer about this, so I'm just going to cut to the point and want to talk about what I have to talk about regarding my ban reset, and that would be, I want to be a real boy. So freaking bad. Try all of the things I never tried, if you know what I mean. No, I'm getting beyond gay at this moment. But as I was saying... I'm going to play a lot of search and destroy now, uh, when I get tomorrow, and I'm going to have to get my ass back up to 8th prestige, like, uh, it's really not that fair, and all these people now are saying, I told you so, like, you shouldn't have done it, it's all your fault, you, you brought it up on yourself, Gail, but, you know what, shut up, who the fuck are you to tell me that, honestly, shut up, but, whatever. And guys, this this video has a this gameplay has a really good nice throwing knife kill cam at the end, but you'll see that when it comes time. But as I was saying, so I might do a road to commander. No promises. I don't really want to, but if you guys want me to, I guess I will. But yeah. So as I was saying, what I wasn't saying anything, but what I want to talk about, like this subject. There's always a subject to a commentary. It's not just about the gameplay and that kind of thing. Is what is going to be going on in the middle school years with the females? That's right, guys. Here's some dating advice in middle school. Sorry if you're fidgeting. I was just masturbating. Here, here's some dating advice for like a 6th grader, maybe a 7th grader in middle school. How to get your first girlfriend. How to get it in. Like, a hug. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you guys know what I mean. How to get a girlfriend in middle school. A couple of pro tips that I've learned, learned across the... Th the few years, the couple of years that middle school was was in my presence. Now, tip number one would always, always, always smell nice. Now, this might sound kind of gay, but you don't want to be walking around smelling like total dog shit with fucking bad fucking breath. Always chew gum. And like when you're chewing gum in class, you're just like, mm, mm, oh, I'm such a badass. And all the girls will be like, oh my god, you're such a badass. Just so, so mean. Such a badass for chewing gum in class. Oh my god, let's fuck. So that's basically how middle school works. There's, But of course that's not the only tip. Tip two. Always, always be in that friend zone before you make your move. Because you don't want to just go up to a girl that you think's pretty hot, but you ha you don't even know her, like, or anything like that. Make sure you're friends with this girl on Facebook, or she f you follow for follow on Twitter, or, or if you're a fucking faggot and you have a Tumblr. I I'm not calling anybody who's gay who has that has a Tumblr, but <laughs> who has Tumblrs that's straight, I mean, come on. But, as I was saying, if you, if you want to get this, this lady friend of yours, you gotta... Look, what the fuck? I don't know what I was doing there. If you want to get a lady friend, ooh, two piece. Uh, if you want to get a lady friend, as I was saying, you must, 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 must. There's three simple rules. I'll get to third one in a second, but let's recap, guys, because I got off track very easily. Uh, you must smell nice, like breath, body. You gotta wear deodorant. You gotta shower daily. You can't have greasy ass fucking hair. So good hygiene, good hygiene overall. And number two. 
is you got to be in the friend zone before you're in in the lady friend zone if you know what i mean but that's that's yeah number 2 <laughs> and number 3 the next one would be you always got to have doors open like you can't stick to this one girl and like be like i love you be my girlfriend forever i love you I love you, like that kind of deal. It's it's got it can't be like that. You gotta have your doors open. But once you um, once you get in the relationship, don't close your doors completely. I'm not saying talk to other girls while you're going out with someone and like cheat on them because that's fucked up. No one likes it. No one likes the cheater. But I'm what I am saying is to I don't know how to put this. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Be in friend, be in the friend zone with a couple other good-looking girls while you're closing in on going out with the girl. I have to fart. Sorry if you guys had to hear that. Uh, but if you're like almost going out with the girl, like you know that stage where you guys are like, I like you, I like you too. <laughs> Let's hug. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, we're so bad. My mom's gonna hate me when I change my relationship status on Facebook. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, when you're in that area you gotta oh, have the doors open but when you close in close those doors up but still be friends with the girls and then when your door is closed with your lady friend who you who you were so in love with for those three four days you guys went out and hugged and went downtown and had lunch together that one time oh my god when you sat at her lunch table that was the best moment of your life i know but everything has to have an end so then you open up your doors with those other ladies, you close in, whichever one's the best looking, whichever one's got the best attitude, whatever the fuck you look for in a girl. Close in on her, and then do the trick over again, and you know how it goes, rinse and repeat, baby. But those are the three basic steps. I know that wasn't, like, the most intriguing commentary about this. I'll probably do another, maybe. I don't know, but do you guys want dating advice, like, girl advice? I don't feel like... I feel like I'd be suited... Suited? Pseudonym is a good word. I see my vocabulary words. Pseudonym? Pseudonym? Have you ever heard that word before? I'm not, I don't know what it means. I don't really study in school. But that's okay, because I'm cooler than everybody else I know. Uh, sorry. Burp. But this commentary has just been, like, rambling in, like, different voices. Oh, my God. There's this fucking bitch in my fucking homeroom class, and... She talks like this, like, she's like, hi, my name, I'm not going to say her name, I'll pretend her name is Chandrell, because it rhymes with her name. Hi, my name is Chandrell, and I'm really, really cool, like, no haters, please, bitches, like, that kind of deal, but fuck her. Um, oh, and here's this fucking epic ass story, like, oh my god, oh my god, guys, contain your jizz. Oh. But as I was saying, let's go over the tips one more time, good hygiene, I don't know, I forgot the tips already, because I was just rambling. But anyway, guys, have a good day. I hope you liked this. Make sure to comment, rate, give it a thumbs up or I'll kill you. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. I love your sub. I love you.